How wide is the ocean? <laughs> it's pretty wide. In fact, if you were standing on a beach looking out toward the horizon, it seems like it goes on forever. But of course it doesn't. There is a shoreline out there somewhere. It's just that when you're standing on a beach looking out, you don't know where that shoreline is. From that standpoint, the place where the ocean ends is unknown. That's actually a very helpful illustration for understanding the real meaning of the Hebrew and Greek words, commonly translated as forever or eternal or everlasting in the English versions of the Bible. In their original languages, those words don't mean never ending. What they really mean is that the end is not known. That's important for our understanding of what the Bible really teaches about hell. Hell doesn't go on forever and never, ever, 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 ever end. It does have an end. And it also has a positive purpose, not just to punish, but to ultimately restore. That's just one misconception that people have about what the Bible actually teaches about heaven and hell. My best-selling book, Heaven's Doors, Wider Than You Ever Believed, has a lot more interesting information that you've probably never heard. Oh, I almost forgot. When the Bible talks about eternal life, it comes from passages that use different words and phrases that clearly do mean never-ending.